Okay, Emma Bates here, head of the 2024 Boston Marathon. I, I gotta ask you first about the health, because obviously that's why you didn't run the trials. Like, how was your, how much has the health affected, or the injuries affected this buildup? And like, when did you get back to running? Can you give me a timeline on that? Yeah, I think it was like 12 weeks of no running at all. It was just cross training on the bike. Um, I hate everything else, so I was just on the bike the whole time, um, 24 hours a week. Um, and it was very arduous. It was just, it was a really tough thing to kind of get through, but Emma Coburn was going kind of through the same thing with her hamstring tear at the same time. So um, I was able to kind of key off of her and kind of gain some inspiration from her. So that was really helpful. Um, unfortunate that she also was injured, but we were kind of able to, you know, just um, have each other to know that we could both get through it. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was 12 weeks of not running and then um, trying to get back on the ground, but then I end up getting a post tib injury and that's when we realized like the trials weren't going to happen. And so Joe sat me down and was like, Hey, like I, you could, you could still try, you can still be a participant possibly, but I don't think that you want to show up in that way. I think you want to, you know, show up at your best, um, ability level and it's just, it's not going to be there. And I agreed. And so I had a couple days to mourn the Olympic trials and, and kind of mourn that dream. Um, but but then we pivoted and we we're like okay so Boston and I was like yeah like let's do it let's try for it and we didn't really know how I would come off of um, the injury and like how I would like come off of doing workouts again um, and it was really really rough at first um, like not not good and I was like oh boy like I don't think this is gonna be a very good race for me but we'll still do it we'll still tackle it we'll still get strong and do all the you know exercises that I need to do to get to my um, best ability level but we realized um, over time not forcing anything and not forcing fitness, I was able to gain so much strength and then all of a sudden it came together in the best way. And I have been running faster workouts than I ever have before, even faster than last year, much more controlled, much stronger. So that gives me so much confidence knowing that everything I did last year set me up for a fifth place finish um, and everything I did this year, it may be even even better. Um, so going into this race is really exciting. When was that? Like, when did you feel like things turned a corner? About a month ago, basically. Um, I started doing long runs and workouts um, that were a little bit more specific to the marathon. And that's when we realized like all of the strength of the cross training really translated into the strength of the marathon. And so I trusted Joe so much with like all the cross training and, and never questioned that it was going to help. But we were both a little shocked um, with how well it did work and and where I'm at now we didn't quite expect that so was there a point where you shifted from cross training to just 100% running yes so that was about um, beginning of January mid January is when I started to transition to running more on the ground but it wasn't until basically two weeks ago three weeks ago that um, I, I was still supplementing so I normally run 120 miles a week or 130 miles a week but um, to supplement I d we didn't want to push it too much and too soon with, with the amount of volume. So I, I did biking like a few times a week on top of like 110, 150 miles a week. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you watch the Olympic marathon trials? I did. Yes. And it was really awesome and really heartbreaking also at the same time. So I wanted, I love this sport and I'm a big fan of the sport and I'm a big fan of a lot of the people that I run against and compete against and I was so happy for the team that ended up being the team, Fiona, Emily, uh, Dakota, and Dakota, I mean, she's just like the, the most inspirational like person out there, I would say. So just my joy for them was kind of clouded by, or wasn't clouded by everything that I was going through emotionally. Like I was able to be completely present while they were racing and then you know have my moment of like oh man that could have been me kind of thing of course but then having the Boston Marathon having every other major marathon um, made me realize like the Olympic trials the Olympics aren't the end-all be-all we have other things and that's the great thing about the marathon is like we have these really big events and we can get just as excited about these big events seems like a very healthy attitude I try. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, appreciate the time and best of luck on Monday okay thank you so thank much